Alright guys, so uh, I may not get this out today, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I want to make sure that, that I have this so polished that nobody has any reason to complain because I've been getting a lot of complaints here lately and I want to make sure this is documented. I am changing a lot, so be aware if you if you update it, uh, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of changes that were made, uh, a, a, a lot of changes. So I'm going to run this as a dedicated server. I'm just going to uh, run this as one for now. Um, that's a bug. I don't know what causes it. Um, so yeah, you'll see that. Yes, I'm on a dedicated server, and yes, the line traces are happening accurately now. So I did fix that problem for you guys. I knew I, I had at least one person bring that up. And so now I have the pistols, and uh, one of the, the problems I was having, actually, I'll show you here in a minute. So one of the problems I was having is if I is if I pull if I pulled out a left-handed weapon and I dropped it on the ground and then I uh, picked it back up, he would pick it back up with his right hand. Uh, so now what happens is is if you pick up if you pick up a weapon that can be held in either hand and holstered in either hand, then it's going to check your slots. And if there's already a, an item uh, holstered in one of the right hand slots, then it will not pick it up with the right hand. It'll pick it up with the left hand. That way he can holster it uh, in the left on the left side. So, uh, yeah, I'm covering all bases here, guys. I'm, I've been testing the, the crap out of this. Uh, so now the actual physics isn't actually replicated properly right now, guys. I just have movement replicated on it. That's why it's jittery, uh, because physics happens fast and it's normally smooth. I'm not actually replicating physics. Uh, uh, I'll probably do that later. Uh, I'm not going to uh, worry too much about that right now. Uh, but you'll see I have my uh, flashlight here. I may, I may uh, change that. I, it, I think it kind of looks weird the way he's holding it right there, but uh, I can holster that. You'll see it's it's on his uh, uh, little belt thing back there. I decided to put it like that because later on I'm going to have an equip animation, and I want him to be able to reach behind there and, and grab it out. Uh, and when he grabs it out, I want him to be able to... Uh, grab it like that and bring it back around. That's the reason why he's holding it like that. And the reason why I'm holstering it like that as well is so that I'll be able to grab it uh, better, easier, uh, and without like it looking weird. Yeah, so you can drop items. Uh, you can... Uh, you can drop whatever item, pick it back up, you can holster it. Uh, you have all that functionality now. Um, actually, I have not tested this. Uh, yeah, I just, I've completely forgot about that actually. Um, so, let's see. Nope, okay. I'll have to fix that. So, that uh, the auto unequip for the traversal, it's still based uh, loosely on the old logic for single-handed weapons that only uh, are only in the right hand. So I'll have to uh, fix that. Um, I'll have that fixed before I release this update, though. So I'll just go ahead and uh, show you. Because if it works on dedicated server, you already know it works when as a listen server. So... You'll see I'm holding it. I'm 
Okay, there seems to there seems to be a problem with that one for some reason, but I was able to pick up the other one easily. And you'll see the uh, I mean, there is like a a fraction of a uh, delay there with the spawn uh, on a dedicated server, but it's not it's not like that on the other one. Yeah, so I probably wasn't close enough to that earlier to pick it up. Uh, there's actually just a box around it, and when you walk inside that box, it sends you a reference to itself, and then when you try to interact, it just tries to interact with that reference if that reference is valid. So I, it's a little weird uh, the way I did it, but um, it works, and it also allows the, uh, the server to handle pickups, and it prevents the client from spoofing uh pickup data because if you try to interact it'll say hey server interact and then the server will, will check its reference and if it doesn't have a reference that means you're not actually inside the box on the server so it, it'll prevent spoofing uh during a multiplayer uh of like item where item, items are and stuff like that oh what is that Oh, it looks like the camera's reacting to the uh, projectile. And they have to, uh, uh, yeah. So I may have to uh, fix that too. I, I just noticed that. All right, well, guys, I mean, it's coming along. Um, now I still have to uh, get this working for the IK retargeted characters before I release this. And I also need to, so I need to do that. I need to fix the traversal uh, auto unequip, and then I need to uh, need to set up all the IK retargeted characters for this, and then I can release it. So um, there's a lot of IK retargeted characters to set up on this, and I have introduced uh, the the flashlight animation set, but I'm not really worried if they're accurately aiming with the flashlight or not. Um, so I may just release it without that. But I do need the, <coughs> I do need to fix the dual welding form. And I need to add some logic for the held object offsets. And what I'm probably going to do is if they're if they're holding the same item, then I might just invert uh, for if they're holding the item in the left hand, I'm just going to invert the offset of the item in the hand so that you get the same offset in the left hand as you would in the right hand um if that makes sense because it would be inverted it would instead of being five centimeters to the left in his hand it would be five centimeters to the right because he's holding it in his left hand so i should just be able to uh invert that offset and as long as your uh character's bones are mirrored then I, I believe that'll work we'll see anyway uh but i'll see you guys in the next video